Oh my gosh. Well, welcome back to the channel, my friends. I just got back from setting up a rogue access point at a super secret location that I'm not allowed to talk about. Oops. There goes my ad revenue. Anyways, this, my friends, is the Wi-Fi Pineapple Tetra. And if you're wondering, are these still relevant in 2024? Yes, these are highly effective hacking tools. And if you don't have one of these, let me explain what it does and how it works to compromise you, your network, and your grandma's Keurig coffee machine. That last one was highly specific. Anyways, out of the box, this thing is like meh. So I've added some additional upgrades that I recommend for anyone who's using the Wi-Fi Pineapple. First recommendation is this long range 2.4 gigahertz pen test booster. And it costs about 50 bucks on Hack5 and can extend the range of your Wi-Fi Pineapple or Rogue Access Point to about 3000 feet. And then the second recommendation to your Wi-Fi Pineapple is this 802.11 USB Wi-Fi adapter, which allows you to tether the Wi-Fi pineapple to your personal hotspot or near access point. Both of these upgrades will allow your pineapple to become more mobile and tactical, eliminating the need for these extra wires and cables. You can throw your pineapple in your backpack and be extremely mobile, connecting it to your personal hotspot. And if you're wondering how much data it takes to run your Wi-Fi pineapple, I ran mine with an evil access point. There's evil afoot! Evil! Where is it? There it is! Uh-oh. For about five hours and used about 216 megabytes. And again, those two simple upgrades will allow your Wi-Fi pineapple to become more tactical and more aggressive. So if you have to do any Wi-Fi auditing or stress testing an environment, or just curious about a rogue access point in general, then stay tuned because we're gonna reveal some secrets about what's going on inside the Wi-Fi pineapple tetra. And I hope we're not at the same McDonald's. So here's the home screen to log into the Wi-Fi pineapple. So the first thing I want to do is come down to the networking, come over to the Wi-Fi client mode and connect to my local Wi-Fi network. So once we're connected to the local Wi-Fi network via the Wi-Fi client mode, we're going to come back over to the dashboard, load the bulletins to make sure we have a successful internet connection. So let's jump over to the modules and review some of these. So there are about 46 to 50 available modules that you can install on your Wi-Fi Pineapple. So the star of the show, everybody knows, is the Evil Portal option for the Wi-Fi Pineapple. So these Evil Portals that I have evil. Where is it? can be found over here on GitHub. There are a ton of good portals, again, that you can broadcast around your network, Yahoo, Twitter, Google, Starbucks, just to name a few. So over here on the left-hand side, you can see the few modules that I'm using currently. So that is just a quick rundown of the modules in the Hack5 repository community. If you wanna see a deeper dive into any of these modules, Hit me up in the comments section and I'll make that video. Thanks for watching guys and subscribing. We're almost at 50,000 hackers. And until the next video, I'll see you guys out there on the hunt.